to it now. <clears throat> yeah. I know I don't do it to it now. RSK, let it play. I like smoke in the room, so potent. Shawty shaking ass and that thing be poking. Super gold, all these drugs on floating. Lot of smoke in the room, so. Boom! Back with another one. What's happening, man? It's been a little too long to even mention. However, what we are going to do here is first off, get this lining together because this shit is crazy right now. I can't even, I can't even deal with this. This is the weekend. You know you got to get right. Before we start, go copy off some merch, man. Kasari Tattoos, man, on Instagram. Go look him up. Um, and it's more big things on the way. So right now we gonna go ahead and get into this uh, lineup, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. New Andes. It's just a 116 guard. I don't know if y'all can actually see that or not, but 116 on the Andes. Shout out versatile hands, man. That was the barber I was supposed to go to, man. I've been my barber since middle school. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I ended up growing my hair out, I think, like twice. The first time I ended up getting dreads. That, <laughs> that's a story for me. That's that's a mission. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to give y'all a bunch of story times, man. I don't think y'all got a lot of background information on me, man, because hair videos and all that is it's not what I planned on doing. But, um. It was the easiest journey that I had at the time. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get us to y'all. But, yeah, man, shout out to Versatile Hands, man. I'm going to tag him either in, in the description or, or right here in the video. Um, but, yeah, man, he got his own shop and everything like that, man. And uh, I do have some clothing dropping pretty soon, man. So, I'm going to uh, come up to you and a couple other businesses that I know trying to get up in there, man. So, let me know something, man. We're going to work out them numbers. <laughs> We're going to talk behind closed doors. Because they don't need to hear about all that. But um, we're going to get to that. So, Bulk is gone. Now, most people might go through and do the little ball line and then fade up, fade up, all that. Me, I'm going to set my perimeter together. So, we're going to get this edge up together. So, I took the clippers off, took, took the guard off, not the clippers. But you know what I'm talking about. And we're going to go ahead and just go over it just with a rough draft. I don't think enough people do this, you know. They don't want that. They don't want that. Both ends. Alright, so. Get that basic little piece out the way. Then we're going to always get the brush. Man, people didn't tell me that when I was first cutting my hair. You need the brush to put the hairs in place. on where your hair is going to be after the cut. So just give it a little quick... Start right here just so y'all can see. <laughs> Boom. The pre lineup is done. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull it all up just to lay it back down after the cut. This technique, nobody really taught me this. I just figured if your hair is going straight down and you want the cleanest lining possible, you gotta pull that hair up just a little bit to get the undertones. Once you trim the undertones, then you pull it back down. See, people don't know. You, you, know, you, you do your lining probably twice. I do mine three times. Because you really have three linings, but people don't tell you. Mahalo, what you mean by three linings, bro? That's impossible, bro. You got one line. Incorrect. You have the line that your hair has grown to before the cut. You have your actual line underneath this area that I just pulled up. And then you have 
your post lining. Three of them. I only do the pull down on the actual straightaway. I don't do it on the sides because I'm lazy. I'm like, I don't. I don't know. I, mean, I just don't want to do it extra. But the truth is, ever since I got braids, the linings have just been quick. That's the only thing that I really fuck about, fuck with about doing the lining here over on the full cut. Because on the full cut, you're gonna be there for 20, 30 minutes. Here, I'm here maybe max 10 minutes. Like this video should be 10 minutes max. I ain't trying to be up here all day doing a lining, bro. Three up. <laughs> But yeah, for I'm not gonna be here all day with this. So, boom. Put your guard back on. We gonna edit that out. And then just come back down. Picking up anything you might have missed on that first one. Right? That's the one thing about having braids and a haircut though, man. I be pulling out random hairs, cutting hairs I know I'm not supposed to. But, I got a decent lining, so I ain't tripping about that right now, but. I don't like when the long hairs get cut down, man. I'm doing this for length, bro. I ain't doing this for views. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, man. The braids have been cool, though. But eventually, I'm going to go back to the waves, man. I, it, it was on the other side. I had some waves growing in early. Didn't even brush. I'm saying my hair made for that. True to this. Not new to this. Uh, one more time just to get a good overlap. I don't know if y'all can see that. I, <laughs> I tried to do the slow motion, but without making my head seem like freaking huge y'all see where we at with it that line right there tch, crispy next I'm going to switch to a different blade because the ambies are big liners for me I strictly use it on that and you know what I'm saying slight, slightly around the edge We're nothing crazy gotta have a little shorter blade Y'all see that? Let me see. Do y'all see that? Do y'all? What about the other side, man? Cause I know I don't never, I don't never do it proper enough for everybody. All right, boom. So that's that right there, right? <laughs> yeah, and I got that. Let's get it. All right. Pull out the cheat. A little bit louder, but it's just that. Cleans up the edges, man. Keys to success. <laughs> Normally, that's it. That's the basic hairline, you know what I'm saying? Got in there nitty gritty with just the even all over. Now I'm gonna give y'all what y'all been waiting for. Pull that Andy's out again. We're gonna take the guard off this time now. And we're gonna do a, a low taper, not, not not nothing too crazy. So I'm gauging right above this spot in the ear. Before I go any further, go straight to the other side and do the same thing. That slight up and down is going to get you exactly what you need every time. Don't try to... A lot of y'all be messing up, going crazy. Now I'm going to switch up the entire blades. Blades, blades, blades. Get an adjustable, always have an adjustable cutter, whatever you do. Alright, so, I'm going to close it. I got a 1 8 guard on here, I'm going to take that off too, because I don't 
need none of that. I'm a professional. Just progressively moving back on this on this back end, uh, going up a centimeter every time, centimeter and a half. I'm, I'm gonna get back to this. I don't know. Just like that, hit that up real smooth. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and do this reveal, man, because that's the only reason why I even waited, man. So when I tell y'all that this line is easy, it's nothing. At least not for me. No sweat, man. I've been doing this since, man, Kato. I was going out to that Boonies, uh, Boonie Little Island, and they was like, you know, they ain't got no barbers out there. I was like, alright, I ain't letting nobody else cut my shit, so if I fuck it up, then I fuck it up. But, um, over them five-some years, man, shit, see, you got cold. They don't want it. They don't want it. But, um, special announcements. Boom. Okay, now I don't got my editing skills. Boom. Hold on. <laughs> All right, but yeah, y'all, y'all see the drip? Can y'all see the drip? Everybody that's been wondering why I've been gone for an entire year, I've been working like crazy, man. So let me go ahead and give y'all the rundown, man. So YouTube, don't try to kick my ass. <laughs> but um. Yeah, man, so for a while, you know what I'm saying, I was really fucked up, man. That homeless shit wasn't no joke, but, uh, you know, shit be like that. Um, but since then, man, I've been working on this clothing brand. Um, it's not, it's not merch. I don't, I'm, you're never gonna hear me in the future say, oh, go cop some merch. Because it's really a clothing brand. Like, this is really, like, all me. Handmade. Everything on there is gonna be hand sewn on, at least <laughs> for this first year. But, um, y'all see how we coming, man. A true legend never dies, man. And I mean that not in the physical, you know what I'm saying? Of course, people die. But I'm speaking more in terms of your impact or, or your spiritual kind of, um, your spiritual give back or whatever you leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Like that never really dies. Once you become a legend, people have been remembering Ali for decades and decades to come. So it's not really about, you know, Oh, I gotta do everything be before I pass away. Otherwise, nobody's gonna remember me. If Malcolm thought like that, exactly, y'all wouldn't even be looking at me right now. Yes, and it does come with the joggers. Let me go ahead and hit y'all with that real quick. Uh, it's charging, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can get the get the get the quick drip. Oh yes, bathroom is clean, boy. So I ain't, you know, I ain't worried about showing y'all nothing. <laughs> Y'all know what y'all know how it's coming, man. Y'all know how we coming now. That um, the other problem that I had, I didn't really have like a, a general direction for the channel. You know, I was trying to figure shit out. I did one hair video, and I'm like, you are not gonna catch me up here all the time doing hair unless it's waves. But then I thought about it, and I'm like, let me just put out these videos because I know people do the journeys and everything like that. And then you get to figure out about people's background and stuff. So I'm gonna give y'all some tips. Other than the merch. I've been doing business consulting, just became supervisor, um, well that was a year ago, it feels like yesterday, but it's been a year since then, uh, financial literacy classes every month for the clothing brand, I actually plan on doing some financial literacy, getting the kids and the younger ones right, you know what I'm saying, um, teaching what credit is, how credit comes, and just the basics, you know what I'm saying, I'm not a CPA yet, what are you talking about, but um, yeah, man, I really just been getting this head together, man. I'm just really just been grinding, man, stacking up this bread. Um, I got some crazy, crazy videos for y'all on the way, man. So stay tuned in, man. Tap in and catch these gems, man, because I'm going to try and drop a gem every time I chop it up with y'all. But right now, the gem is y'all need to tune into that financial literacy and personal development when I start dropping those. But until then, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the fun stuff, man. Enjoy the light stuff. I got cars, cars, cars coming to y'all next time.